In this lesson, I'm going to show you how we can get the weather API. Well, there are many weather API providers, but we mostly use this open weather map for weather applications. Okay, so in this course, we'll use the open weather map API. Let's go to this website and there we'll click this API and we'll see different API options. We can use any of these API to get the weather data. For example, this option is used to get the current weather data. This option is used to get the weather data of four days. Similarly, we have different options. We can also use this daily forecast 16 days option of weather data. But right now, this is not free and it's included in all the paid subscription plans. So we'll choose some other plan which is free of cost. This five day, three hour forecast is free. So we'll choose this option. This option will provide the weather data of five days. And because this is a free plan, so we'll not get the weather data after every hour. We'll get the weather data after three hours. Okay, now let's click on this API documentation. And here we'll see the URL which is used to get the weather data. In this URL, we need to pass few things like latitude, longitude, and app ID or API key. Let's copy this URL and paste it inside another tab. Now let's go to Google and there we'll find the latitude and longitude of your location. All right, let's copy the latitude and longitude and paste it inside your API URL. When we'll get the weather application in .NET MAUI, then we'll allow our application to pick the device location. We're testing the API in the web browser, so let's pass the coordinates manually. Okay, now let's find the app ID or API key. To get the API key, I need to sign up on the open weather map. So I'll create my account. Now once I'll set up my account, then here in the drop down, I'll see the API key. Just select this. And here we can use the default API key or generate a new one. Okay, now let's copy this API key and paste it inside the URL. Okay, let's hit enter and we'll get the JSON response. Let's copy this JSON data. And now we'll search for this website, JSON Beautifier. And there, let's paste the JSON data and beautify it. Okay, here on the right hand side, we'll see the JSON data in the coding format. We can also choose other options to view the data. Let's select the view option and here in the object, we'll see different things. If we expand this city option, then we'll see different attributes like name of the city, coordinates, sunrise, sunset, etc. We'll choose this city to get the current weather data. Now here we'll see the list, which tells us that this list contains the following number of records. Let's expand the list. And here we'll see different fields. Let's expand this one. And here in the main, we'll see data for temperature, pressure, humidity, etc. In the weather field, we'll see the weather data like description and icon of the weather. Similarly, in the wind, we have speed, etc. We'll use this JSON data inside our dotted MAUI application. Okay, so in the next lesson, we'll generate the C-sharp classes from this JSON data. I'll see you in the next lesson.